Well, 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 hello. This is Will, if you're wondering who this is. Um, this is probably, uh, this is one of the first videos I've had for a while where I'm not actually reviewing anything um, because I don't want to. But what I am going to do is I'm going to announce the first ever Will's Awards. Yes, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Wills. This is a wrestling oriented award show from me, Will Nitro, to you, my ever loving audience. So, the question is what will I be saying? What will I be talking about? Okay, so. What I won't be talking about is the promotion of the year, because, let's be honest, all the promotions are great. I am not going to give an award to a promotion. I'm not even going to give an award to a Booker of the Year, because the Booker of the Year is um, opinionated. And these awards I'm going to give are opinionated as well. And who do you think I am? Dave Meltzer? No, I'm not. I'm Will Nitro because I've got a brain cell. Hey, Dave? Hmm? 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 Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, David? Yeah? Yeah? Excellent. Anyway, so, here I am, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Shenanigans of all ages. My awards will be of my personal taste. So... There, I'm probably going to do four or five. Um, so let's let's talk with. Let's see where should we start. Um, we shall start with show of the year. Now, what is the best show I've seen this year? If I haven't seen many, well, <laughs> who's the best show of the year? Hmm, it's a difficult one. I've had to, like, I've gone through what I think was the best show of the year and what people are telling me is the best show of the year. And the people that are telling me, of course, are um, my hangers-on, my, my minions. And, you know, <laughs> the minions, they, they don't have names. They, they're not getting a name from me. But what I am and what you're about to know is my opinion of the show of the year. Now, the show of the year could be anything from a Raw, a SmackDown, a NXT, a Dynamite, even a show I've, I've been to. Yeah, I've been to wrestling shows. Yeah, who'd have thought? Hey, me, wrestling show. Ha <laughs> ha! But yeah, so, um, I will tell you, and I will tell you in unknown circumstances, the best show that I have seen this year and none of you will agree with this, because as I said at the start of this, it's opinionated. The best show I've seen this year was a show I actually was at. And that was a wrestling society show. And this show was the one that I went to see in November. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. It was like me. Glamorous, attractive, and quite charismatic if I do say so myself it was just it's so difficult to explain why people, people the wrestling show for me is if you're entertained and you you're away and you're not thinking about anything else I love that show I, I thought it was beautiful it was fantastic and um, it was brilliant that's all I've got to say and I got to see people live in wrestling and um one of them is now officially signed with tna so uh danny luna good luck well deserved by the way um yes and um yeah it's great and so that's my show of the year um wrestler of the year again opinionated but you i'm not gonna go male wrestler of the year or women wrestler of the year because that's not how Will roll. That's not how Will Nitro rolls. Will Nitro, ladies and gentlemen, rolls like this. 
So the rest of the year, now you could, you could, could it could be MJF? Could it be Will Ospreay? Could it be, could it be Alex Shelley, your current TNA World Heavyweight Champion? Yes, I said TNA. It's, it is TNA. Yeah, I'll be coming to that in a minute. Um, rest of the year for me is someone who entertains me on a weekly and daily basis and they don't have to have, they don't have to have gold around their waist, they don't even have to be in a prom prom prominent position. Um, rest of the year for me is going to go to someone who entertains me on a regular basis, uh, makes me laugh, uh, captivates me with the things that they do and so the wrestler of the year 2023 is Sami Zayn. He's funny and he's bloody talented. And I think that Sami Zayn will be, not can be, will be a future world champion. Now, whether that be WWE Universal Champion or whether that will be the World Heavyweight Championship, Again, that's just, who knows, but I think he will be a world champion. Um, what else? I'm not going to generalise like Cruiserweight of the Year or X Division Wrestler of the Year or Tag Team, tag team of the Year, because that's just, no. Um, now, I said I wasn't going to do promotion of the year, and I'm not. But what I am going to do is I'm going to break... Some news. Uh, if you're a wrestling fan, you'll know this. If you're not a wrestling fan, you'll know this. I am going to say something that is puzzling me, but is also intriguing me. So this week, it being Christmas week, I'm recording this, by the way, on Thursday, the 28th of December, 2023. So there's... Hardly any wrestling, like on TV at the moment. I'm, I don't know it was on last night, and I'm not going to talk about that because I'm, I'm coming to that. I'm going to explain why I'm not going to talk about Dynamite. Mainly because I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk about it. Um, so I'm here to talk about. I've lost my. I, I've lost my train of thought, and I've gone through a tunnel. And I blacked out. I don't know where I am. Um, where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? Yes. Breaking news. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I've got back on the train. Yeah. I know where I'm going now. I'm going point in direction. Down there. Woohoo. So, breaking news. So, uh, this week on TNT. Raw was on. Smackdown's on this week. But NXT was nowhere to be seen, and there was actually an NXT show this week on Boxing Day. There was an NXT Underground match. Now it wasn't on TNT. So I thought, oh, maybe they're not showing it. Maybe it's like a best of, because Raw was a best of this week. But, um, no. The breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, is that from next Tuesday, which will be Tuesday, January 2nd, into Wednesday, January 3rd. NXT will no longer be shown in the UK on TNT Sport. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it will be exclusively owned WWE Network. Now you'll say to me, that's already on the network. Aha, uh -huh. but it's seven days behind on the network. Whereas now, from next week, next year, whatever you want to say, it will be live. Ha ha, ha 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 So yes, ladies and gentlemen, NXT is going to be live for the first time in history in the UK. NXT will actually be live. Now, if only Triple H could bring back NXT UK or the long-mooted NXT Europe or even, even what I've heard about NXT Japan. No, I don't think that's going to happen now because all the Japan promotions have gone under one umbrella. But yeah, so, hmm, tell me your thoughts on that one, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, where does this leave TNT's broadcasting of WWE? Because NXT's a big part of it. They're not going to be showing that at all. 
they might have like highlights and that, but they're not showing it live. Where does that leave Raw and SmackDown? And lo and behold, isn't TNT Sports contract up at the end of next year? I think it might be. Very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very interesting. So, there's your breaking news for this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Now, I'm, I'm coming back to why I said I wasn't going to speak about AEW Dynamite. Now, the wrestlers in AEW, in, in all elite wrestling, they're great. Some of them are underused, some of them are overused. That's my opinion. However, what I cannot and will not stand for is tribalism of wrestling fans. Now, People will say to me, but you only watch WWE. Well, that's not actually true. But, okay, let's not make a storyline out of a, a crisis. I do watch TNA on YouTube because I refuse to pay £9.99 for the design. I'm, I'm not paying for it. Or fight, whatever that price is. I'm, I'm not getting a good driller or whatever it's called now. It's changed its name. So, I will say this. I've been willing for four years to stick with AEW. For four years. I've been giving them chances. And I'm, yes, their product has been great for like probably three and a half of that four years. Some of it has been excellent. But there's been a steady, and AEW fans may not agree with me, but there's been a steady decline. There has been a steady decline, and it's not just... It's not just my opinion, it's not just the people out there on, on, on X land, whom we know as Twitter. Um, for me, the, the turning point came um, a few weeks ago when Tony Khan did a rant on Twitter saying that everyone was against them, oh, there was negative storylines, blah, 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 blah. So, this is. I, I I don't know how to say this without <laughs> sounding like, but at this point, I cannot talk about AEW. I can't deal with it. I can't watch it. I can't even comprehend that it exists. Do I want it to exist? Absolutely. Do I want to go through a point where WWE is the only show in town? Hell no. Hence why I'm coming back to something else in a minute. But when Tony Khan did that rant and he started being, everyone yeah, hates me. Look, being miserable, and I know, because I'm miserable, I'm Will Miserable Nitro, so I know how about, <laughs> that's my gimmick, son. That's my gimmick, Carney. So let me, let me put this another way. Tony Khan, AEW. No disrespect, but you don't exist to me. You're dead. You crossed the line when you ranted about everyone not disliking you and despising you and blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I'm not bothered. Most wrestling fans don't actually care what you've got to say. Really, really deep down, people will disagree, but deep down, they know it's true. Now, now I've got that off my chest. Oh, I've been carrying around that for weeks. I wanted to rant about this a while back. Okay. So. Here comes the big award of the night. The Will Nitro Return of the Year Award. <laughs> now everyone would. Everyone thinks they know where I'm going with this. Everyone thinks that I'm going to give the award. To some bloke from Chicago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do you really think I'm that stupid and that gullible and that naive that I'm going to give that person an award for this coming back? No, of course I'm not. I have opinions about him and I will stick to those opinions. Am I happy that he's come back to WWE? I'd like to say yes, but then I don't want to be seen as a hypocrite. Because I have had very strong opinions about him for the last year and a half. So, 
to quote Philip, um, January the 29th, 2014, you turned your back on me. We didn't turn them back on you, you turned your back on me. And I'm talking about me personally. I'm not talking about all the other fans out there, I'm talking about me personally. You walked out because you wanted time off. You go on about at that time, I, I've never talked about this, but you you left because you weren't you weren't given the time off. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but the year before, didn't you have after WrestleMania? After WrestleMania 27, didn't you have like didn't you have time off when you lost and you didn't you weren't seen for like four months? Anyway. I know you, you were tired and you needed that time off. Okay, there's lots of different things of, of what happened. You left. You were, you were a crybaby. And you can... Okay, you were a crybaby. Okay? So, I'm going to say your name. Because I, I haven't said your name for years. So, I'm going to say your name. And um, this is a pointed thing to... to you're not going to watch this because, you know, you're bigger than, you're bigger than me. I, you're not going to watch my little video. But I'm going to tell you this. CM Punk, you left the WWE in January 29th, 2014. At that point, you became non-existent to me. You became an afterthought. Did it hurt? Yes, it did. Because I believed in you. I, I was part of the Straight Edge Society. I was a member of the Second City Sense. I was even a member of The Gathering. But now you turned your back on me. You turned your back, maybe not on all the other fans, but you turned your back on me. And you went, and the final straw was when you went to AEW and you said that you'd left professional wrestling in like 2009 or whenever it was before you went to WWE. That, that moment there sealed your, your fate. You sealed your fate. And I can't, celebrate you returning with an award and I can't celebrate you doing what you're doing now will I cheer for you maybe maybe not I don't know I, I don't know what to do I don't know if I should cheer for you if I should boo you if I should be like I have been for 10 years be like Neh. I don't know I don't know what to do but what I can do is say this CM Punk, it's good that you come back to WWE for you. And it's good that you come back and the fans love you to come back. However, at this moment in time that I'm saying this, I can't, I, I can't, I, I can't give you everything. So, uh, now I've ranted about that. <laughs> Uh, I, this wasn't meant to be a ranting video, but it seems it's turned out to that be week. So, I don't know what I was saying there, but <laughs> that was almost incomprehensible as a Miz promo. So, return of the year. So, obviously, I'm not going to be giving it to a to CM person. But will I be giving it to someone or some entity or some something that you haven't thought about who should get the will nitros first remember when you're the first you're always going to be remembered for being the first of the will nitro return of the year award now ladies and gentlemen who am i going to give the return of the year to could it be a person? Could it be a conglomerate? Could it be even my hair? It's not going to be my hair. We all know that. My hair hasn't gone. It's going. It's going. Because I'm 50 next year. I'm 50 years old. So yeah. <laughs> if you see me bald and you start chanting Stone Cold Steve Austin or Kurt Angle to me, I'd be loving that because they're great. How oh, uh, here is what I've got to say. And when I say this, so 
the return of the year came down to two things. One, it came down to people and it came down to the business. And who do I think deserves to get the first ever Will Nitro return of the year? Well, I was going to give it to my favourite wrestler in the world. Now, I asked this question weeks ago and no one, no one, no one said who they thought my favourite wrestler of the year was. And I'm going to tell you who the best, my favourite wrestler is at this moment in time. And it's not Bailey, And it's not Dakota Kai. It's not Io Sky. It's not Asuka. Which means it can only be one person. Only one person is Will Nitro's favourite wrestler. And she is Kari Sam. And because Kari and me have a bond. A bond like no other. A bond that is translates into wrestling talk. And Kari, I know you're not watching this, but in some alternative universe, if you manage to see this video, <laughs> I love you. I think you're amazing. And if I was in charge of WWE, you would be putting some gold around your waist. In fact, you might soon enough have some gold round your waist. But Kari, as much as I love you and respect you, you're not winning Return of the Year. There's only one thing that can win Return of the Year. There's only one company that can win Return of the Year. And the Return of the Year has to go to three letters that have come synonymous with me over the last 20 years of being an alternative. Yeah, they were an alternative before somebody said they were an alternative. These were an alternative. They've always been an alternative and they always will be an alternative because the Will Nitro return of the year goes to T-N-A. Say it with me, baby. T-N-A. TNA, TNA, TNA. And how's about that, ladies and gentlemen, for an impact? Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the Will Nitro Awards of the Year. I'd like to congratulate everybody for tuning in and watching my rant, my awards giving, my hands doing this for no apparent reason. Woohoo! But, ladies and gentlemen, soon. I will do another video, a review of something that might have happened in the past. Who knows? It might be something in the future. But just remember one thing. Soon enough, this world will be ruled by the Nitro Generation. T-N-G. And that you can take to the bank. See you at ringside.